Okay, let's look at queries. So queries are based on questions about the data. So what we do is select specific field names in, an, in order to answer those questions. So let's look at some examples. First, we're going to look at the simple query. Now, what I have here first, um, I, I have all the table headings, all the field names. So there's a table students, table parents, and their field names or table headings are listed. And that's what I'm going to need to figure out the answer to the question. So an example of the question could be, who are the students in the school? For example, the student list. Another example could be what are the student contacts or the student contact list. So it's pretty straightforward. A simple query is pretty straightforward in that it just picks out the table headings that give the answer to this question. So I'm going to look at my tables here when I try to figure out the answer to my question. And this is the format to my query. First of all, I need a query name. So let's look at let's look at this question. Who are the students in the school? I'm not going to get that in the parents table, so I need to look at the students table. In the students table, let's see. I need to put in a primary key first of all. Their names, good. That will tell me who the students are. And that's really it. Maybe form. Right? I will see who, uh, what form they're in. Okay. So, we can call this student list. Query name could be student list. Table, we decided it's coming from students. And we need primary key. First name. Well, their name, basically which is made up of uh, first name and surname and form. That will tell me who the students are in the school. That's all I need. Let's look at the next question. Student contacts. Again, uh, not going to look in the parents table. We have to look at the students table. And if I want to contact a student, well, again, the name um, there's a home address, maybe email and contact number. That could be a direct uh, contact to the student. So let's put this student, um, let's put a query name, student contact list. Table we decided is students. And primary key, always primary key. You must put in your primary key. First name. A student's name, surname, we said email and contact number. That's it. All right, so let's try it out. Let's bring up Microsoft Access here. And we're going to create our two queries. Let's see. Student list first. Create. In Microsoft Access, create tab. Query design. I want the student table. Add, close. Let me open out this box a bit. Okay, let's see what, what I want. I want again. I want student number, first name, surname, form. Okay, I'm going to just double click student number, first name, surname. Or I could come down in the grid here and I could click form. I could click it from there, right? Um, that's it. What's the name of this? Let's see. Student list. Let's see. Student list. Um, X this. Save. Yes. Student list. Click OK. OK. Comes up a query. Let's open it and see what happens. It gave me the answer. 
right? I only have one student in my table, so it's going to give me whatever I have in my table. Okay, let's quickly make the same one in Libri. So I have Libri Office open here and I want a query. Click on queries and create query in design view. I want the students table add close. All right. Um, go back student number, first name, surname, form. So student number, I just double click again, just like the last one. Just opening out the box to there. First name, surname, and I can also just choose in the grid itself, right? Okay, that's it was the name of this student list. Close this. Yes, I want to save student list. Click OK. And there it is, student list. Let's open it and see. And it gave me the information, gave me my answer to my query. Simple queries done.